question is from Jazz Fitness. What are your opinions on training a muscle group that is still sore from the previous workout? Boy, I'll tell you what. So Jazz. Years ago, um, I was uh, my family and I were planning a trip to Italy you know, over the summer. And I wanted to look good because I have a bunch of cousins and family over there. And, I, and they all knew I was in fitness. So I wanted to make a good impression or whatever. I hadn't seen them for a long time. Yeah, hot cousins. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not stuff. that Sicilian. <laughs> uh, so I, uh, you know, so, and I'm, I've always been a historian when it comes to, to fitness, especially bodybuilding. I love reading old publications and stuff. And, you know, at this point, I'd been working out for a long time. And I'd noticed that the bodybuilders and strength athletes in the past, all work their body parts more than once a week. It, 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 the, the once a week training became a trend of each, each body part where you like biceps on Monday, you don't wait till next Monday to hit it again. That didn't become a thing until like the 90s. That was because the Mr. Olympia at the time, Dorian Yates, was a an advocate for you know the Arthur Jones style of heavy duty training where you hammer the shit out of a muscle and leave it alone for an entire week. But before that, everybody trained muscle groups twice a week. And before that, it was three days a week or four days a week. So I'd read all these things and I was like, you know, I know I'm only supposed to work my body parts once a week, but I'm going to try this two day a week thing. And so what I did is I broke up my my body into, uh, you know, I did upper body, lower body, rest, upper body, lower body. And part of my rationale was I got to get lean anyway. So I'm just going to burn a lot more calories. I'm doing, I'm hitting everything more. So I'm just going to burn more calories. Now, luckily, intuitively, I knew to not go quite as hard if my body was a little sore. So what ended up happening, Monday, I hit upper body, you know, Tuesday legs, Wednesday off. Then I came back Tuesday, oh, it's upper body again. I'm still a little sore. I'm going to go a little easy, um, but I'm still going to train it because I got to see what happens. Blew my mind. Training a sore muscle appropriately, so don't beat the shit out of it, but training it appropriately – I recovered faster. Actually, yeah. I didn't get more sore the next day. I actually felt a little bit better. And then I started progressing at a very, very quick rate. And this was the one of the things that led to the development of MAPS Anabolic, which is where you hit body parts essentially three days a week. So hitting a sore muscle group, if you do it right, it's actually better than not hitting it. Oh opinion. yeah, I've had I've had that experience, and it's just like promoting more blood flow, like getting the oxygen there, like all these different like. Again, this is dose dependent. This is making sure that I'm not going too intense, uh, you know, with that workout where I'm already sore. But to get through like those same movements and get blood flow and get that uh, to to facilitate better recovery, definitely uh, that definitely was an effective strategy and that helped a lot because like uh, just sitting around and being sore, like I I noticeably was more stiff and, and it, it would almost exaggerate it uh, on that level. I think it's important though, and I agree with everything we're saying, but I also think it's important to to note that if you if you're getting so sore that like you go into it's, it's two three days later and you're hitting that muscle group again or you're supposed to hit that muscle group again and you're like really really sore that's a sign that you you overreached on the last workout and you need to take that into consideration when you go back into that 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 routine again great point that i didn't need to go that far you yeah. know and 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 really you're what you're reaching for or what you're targeting the goal for me is always and i say this a million times on the show that i'm trying to do as little as possible to elicit the most amount of change. Well, what does that look like? Well, what it looks like is just stretching myself enough that I might be a little sore from it. So I know that like, okay, definitely that was uh, a, that was more for me because my body is telling me I'm a little sore from it. But if I'm really sore from it, that means I way overreached and I way overdid it more, so bad that it, it's probably going to hinder that workout that I do again in two or three days that I probably won't be able to get after it as much as I'd like to because I am so sore. So, yes, I agree. You can definitely hit a muscle, and you should because it will. It'll facilitate recovery faster, and you can you will probably adapt and grow. You're increasing your volume, so there's nothing wrong with training a quote unquote sore yeah. muscle. But I also think that's a good signal for you to know that you're you're overreaching more than you need to, and to probably back off a little bit on on the volume, meaning less sets less reps or a little less weight the next time you circle back around there I, again i'm i'm shoot my my sweet spot if i know that i'm hitting a muscle group every other day or every two days i i want to feel it i, I want to get a good workout where i'm like oh the next day I, I know i worked my legs 
But when I'm having a hard time walking around, I know that it's like, oh, I totally could have done three less sets and still sent a signal to my body to build muscle mm. there. And I, I wouldn't be walking around like I had a stick up my ass and I'd be able to get a good workout in two days. This is why I've also like I've I, I love I've gravitated more towards the total body workout instead of split. Like I, I used to do split routines like a long time ago, but that that was way more. Uh, I, would, I would get sore from that way more so than I would these total body movements. And that's just mainly because I'm hitting them again. I know I'm, I'm going to go through these movements again the next day. And then you, it's, it psychologically kind of prepares you to not overreach because you already know that like, well, I can't like, I can't really go all out. I have to come back again and in like two days. hit them again. Yeah. So. In two days I'm doing, you know, today yeah. I'm doing squats and, you know, man, I feel great. And I've already knocked out five or six sets. Like, oh, maybe I'll push eight or ten sets. But then I'm like, well, yeah, I could push eight or ten sets. But I also know on Wednesday, yeah, you'll I'm get to it. I'm coming back here again, and I'm doing Bulgarian split squats, or I'm doing lunges, or I'm doing front squats. Mm -hmm. I don't want to. I don't want to hinder those because I went. I went so hard here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a little bit in the tank, and then know I'm going to get after it on on two days yeah, later. And also understand that recovery and adaptation are two different things. So your body wanting to heal and your body wanting to build muscle, which is a type of adaptation. Those are two different things. Now they happen oftentimes at the same time because as your body's healing, it's also trying to build muscle, but that doesn't mean you can't sit, get your body to want to build more muscle while you're healing. In other words, if you're sore and you hit the muscle again, but you do it right. Okay. You got to adjust the intensity. Don't overdo it. Depends how sore you are. If I'm super sore, I'm going light. I'm just trying to get a pump. I'm getting a squeeze. I'm stretching a little bit. You're going to send another or a louder or, or make the concurrent muscle building signal louder while not hampering your body's ability to heal. In fact, as we discussed earlier, you may actually speed up your body's ability to heal at the same time.